Hi everybody, this is a video to explain how the circular flow of income works. And this is something which is a very simplified explanation of how money flows around an economy, all the money that there is within an economy. And it's easy to remember in that circular, the money goes round in circles, as we'll see in a moment, and it flows round in this circle and it's income, and you'll see in a moment what that means. In our very simplified economy, we assume that we only have households on the one hand, and at the same time as the households, we also have firms. And firms can be either offices or they might also be factories or some other kind of business. They're the firms. And we assume that within this very simple economy, the households own the land, the labour, the capital. Remember in economics that means machines and the enterprise and you'll remember that those things are called the factors of production and we imagine the households own all four factors of production and they supply the factors of production to the firms so that the firms can use these factors of production to make things. So when the land, labour and capital and the enterprise have come to the firms, they use these factors of production to make goods and services. Remember, goods are things which are tangible and services are things which are intangible. Tangible things, which are goods, you can touch and intangible you can't touch. So a good might be something like a table, because you can touch that, but a service might be something like a haircut or a trip to the cinema. You can't touch that. So the firms make these goods and services, and these goods and services, we assume all of them, are then bought by the people in the households. When the households provide the factors of production to the firms, in return, the firms have to pay them for these factors of production. So they pay money to the households for the factors of production that they've received. When they receive land from the households, they pay the firm's rent. When they receive labour from the households, the firms pay wages and when the firms receive the capital, the machinery and the enterprise, the thinking skills from the households, we say that they pay the households interest and profits. And all of this money which the firms are paying to the households for the factors of production, we call income. That's what those four things, rent, wages, interest and profits, all together we call those things income. And then, as we said, the firms use the factors of production to make all of these goods and services. We then assume that the households buy all of the goods and services and the money that the households have is this income that they've received for the factors of production. And they pay that money to the firms in return for these goods and services. And this amount of money we call expenditure. The amount of money that the households must pay for these goods and services that they've bought. So this is expenditure. 
And the final piece of the jigsaw is that these goods and services, all the goods and services that are made by the firms within an economy, we call those output. So everything that's made within the country, all of the goods and services added together, we call the output. And the reasons I've put the income, the output and the expenditure all in the same type of box here is that the income will always be equal to the output and that will be equal to the expenditure. So this amount of money, the income will be exactly the same as the quantity of the output if you add up the value of that output in pounds in the UK and also that amount will be equal to the expenditure because they received the income from the factors of production and they used that to pay for the goods and services. So therefore the amount they pay must be equal to the value of the goods and services. So income equals output which equals expenditure. This is the very simple circular flow of income and the next video is going to explain how this can also be involving some more factors making it a little bit more complicated.